What's going on guys? Welcome back. Some commentary for you real quick. A lot of you complained about the sound. I did a little bit different room location here to get a little bit more reverb in my voice. Obviously, still not feeling 100%, but I wanted to go through and talk to you guys. Immaculate Vision Gaming, as you know, the, the company that wants to bring back NCAA football, they actually surprised us this evening with some early development screenshots, work in progress of their stadiums. And to me, pretty impressive. A lot along the lines of what we just saw with David Winner's game, but you talk about things that you don't always expect in kind of up and coming football titles. You talk about things that took a long time for games to develop and implement into current console products. Obviously, shadows are one of the big things. Shadows took a long time to get into games, and, and I think if you look at something as simple as seeing a goalpost reflect, it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but once you actually don't have it in the game, you realize how strange it looks not to see it. I see a lot of depth in these photos. I see a lot of detail in the actual grass, a lot of detail in the logos. I see a lot of height in these photos in terms of looking at the perspective of a stadium that looks deep, a stadium that looks like it has a actual stadium feel to it, not a flat stadium. A lot of times, in my opinion, when I'm playing a game like Madden, I have a tendency to have the stadium seem very flat to me, very single dimensional. And at least taking a look at these screenshots, we went back and we talked about the shadows a little bit. You also have to talk about the sky. I talked about this with access. There's reference points in any game, whether it comes from sky, ground, or something in the distance, that gives you the interpretation that you're playing on something that's three-dimensional. And when that's not right, it throws your point of vision completely off. You have no point of view as to what you're doing. So taking a look at these photos, Love to know your guys' opinions on them, but obviously a game that's progressing very quickly when we talk about what Immaculate Vision is putting out on the field. I know that I've talked to these gentlemen both very recently. They're looking to launch a website. They're obviously looking to come back on the channel, but they're making sure that they do things in the proper time frame. And to me, that's very important. I know a lot of people don't want to hear about these lengthy delays, these lengthy drawn out game creations and dev cycles, but to do something properly, I think we've learned with every developer, whether it's Cal, whether it's Damon, whether it's Danny, you have to approach it very specifically and very segmentized, if you will, to make sure that you don't go too far ahead too quickly and disappoint the community, but you also kind of curb what the community expects of the product so that you don't rush something out that's incomplete. And I think there's examples positively and negative in the community of both of those currently for you guys to evaluate. But so far, what we've seen from Immaculate Vision Gaming has been very impressive tonight, being no different. Appreciate you guys checking this video out. I'll be back in the week with more commentary.